Welcome back to Fox and News at four. You know, vein disease can cause symptoms like leg cramps, fatigue in your legs, plus spider veins, varicose veins. And when it comes to treatments, there are options. So we have physician assistant Kendall Burke from the interventional radiology team at University Hospital in the studio. Uh, she's here to talk about what you can do for the treatment. And first I want to back it up for people who maybe don't have vein disease. What is that? How is it caused? Sure, so vein disease means abnormally large veins or veins that don't work properly. Mm -hmm. So veins are supposed to carry blood from your feet up to your heart. Mm -hmm. They have valves in them to prevent backflow. So if those valves aren't working, the blood flows backwards and that can cause symptoms like you were talking about. Heaviness, swelling, fatigue, mm. and those outward signs that nobody likes, the varicose veins and the spider veins. Right, and you said it can be painful at times. It can, the spider veins can hurt, your legs can cramp, they can burn, they can itch, mm. but there are things that we can do to treat that. So talk about the uh, the treatments. Is it is it topical or is it massage? So the best thing that people can do mm -hmm. is to wear compression stockings. Ah. Put some pressure on those veins, help those valves do the work and get that blood flowing back towards your heart. Mm -hmm. Exercise is also great. And then there's things we can do like inject the veins, we can ablate them. Mainly we want to close them down because they're no longer working. Mm -hmm. Most people they just they see the the spider veins and they think oh I don't like that it doesn't look good exactly. but it goes beyond that are there other health complications other than it just being painful um, pain is the main thing that I would yeah. say some people can have significant leg swelling and that can affect the way that they feel about themselves it can make it hard mm. to walk because their legs are so heavy so those are things that we would want to treat okay and compression socks is a good thing compression socks is the way to start and then come see me and I can fix you up after that. <laughs> there you go. So how do you, I imagine if you have this, mm -hmm. you know. You know. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. And what can you do to help someone who's going through it? You know, just to be supportive, let them know that there are treatment options. Mm -hmm. People are always happier when they can do something about their problems. Mm -hmm. So just know that there are things that you can do to treat this. Okay. And the treatment it can be, you know, depending on how severe it is, that will determine how long you'll have to exactly and that also treatment. where the problem is because you can have this problem right on the surface where you can mm -hmm. see it and you can have it deep in your legs as well so where you have the problem depends on your treatment all right well thank you for stopping by and appreciate this information and we're going to have it posted for you on our youtube channel so look for it shortly and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so so that way you're notified when we upload a new video thank you so much thank you